Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Baymax, you haven't been in this channel for a while. Where have you been? Anyways, there's something I've been wanting to do for a very long time and it is to make a bullet journal. I do have a journal, but it's like a diary, but I want like a journal where I can keep track of things. And the fun part is that you can draw in things to make it completely original. And bullet journals are basically like things for yourself. So I wanna like customize it for myself. I've never made a bullet journal before, but I have this like fake imagination in my mind and hopefully it comes out okay. So anyways, today I'm going to be customizing a bullet journal. Let's get started. So before anything, I had to go buy a journal. I mean, it's a journal for yourself, so honestly, you can use any kind of notebook that you want. I personally wanted a notebook that has like a hardcover, that looks high quality, and I wanted some like dotted grids. So I went to a stationery store in Japan and this is what I found. Okay, so there's so many different kinds of notebooks. I don't know which one to choose. I want a notebook that has a grid. Like, like I don't want a notebook that has lines. I'd rather have the ones that have grids. But this is not it. I want something that's more like unique and something that screams Minori. Oh my gosh, there's so many notebooks. I mean, I could choose the one with the rings, but I want something that looks like a book. Something more sturdy. Oh look, there's a One Piece notebook. <gasps> Harry Potter! It's a Harry Potter notebook, but it's a ruled notebook. I'm looking for the grid. That's so adorable. I mean, if I'm going to touch this notebook every single day, I want a really pretty notebook. But the problem is, they're all ruled notebooks. I wonder where I can find a grid one. Oh, these are so cute. I know they have nothing to do with what I'm looking for right now, but they're so cute. Look, this is a phone stand. This is a stapler. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. I also need some pens. And honestly, I want like every single pen here. So I think I'm going to buy it as a pack. However, the problem is, I don't think there's every single color in these packs. So I think I need to handpick some colors. We have this color. I don't think so. Okay, I think I got most of the missing colors. Do we have this one? No. Okay, I think I got most of the missing colors. Ooh, these pens look very, very useful. Apparently, this has all 40 colors. Let's try this out. So, these are what I got. First off, I actually have the exact notebook. I couldn't find any other notebook with dot grid and a hard cover. And because I wanted to be able to tell the difference, I didn't want to get the same exact color. So I decided to get black. Ooh, it's so pretty. Brand new notebooks are so pretty. Oh, it comes with stickers? <gasps> Wait, do I have this on this notebook? I do! I never noticed! There's like a little pocket in the back and I never knew. There's these little cards. Very simple but very high quality and I love it. I don't think I'm ever going to use these stickers but I guess I'll put it in the pocket. Okay. Perfect. Next up, I got some pens. And by some, I mean a lot. So here's the first batch. These are some water-based brush pens. Here's some cards that came with the notebook and I'm probably never going to use it. So I'm going to use this paper to try out my markers. So there's a fine tip pen. Okay, very nice. Easy to use. It also comes with a blender. Oh, it actually blends pretty nice. I do have Copic markers, but I didn't want to use them because they bleed a lot. So these are some pastelish colors. I feel like I'm going to be using these a lot more than these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more markers that worked in the batches. And lastly, I got some more pens. Oh gosh, when did I hurt myself? I do not remember doing this to myself, but that happens a lot. Have you guys ever found like random bruises on your body? Because I find them a lot and I don't remember where I got them from. And the reveal. Ta-da! 
This looks so pretty and high quality. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 40. So they're very fine tip. Like you can tell the difference of the thickness. The grip is really small, but it works perfectly fine and the packaging is so pretty. I'm probably not going to use it as much if I keep it in the box. So instead, I'm going to be keeping these inside these. And here are all my pens. So now that we have everything ready, it's finally time to start the journal. After a lot and a lot of thinking, I decided to make my journal Disney Princess themed. Well, if you guys know me, you're probably not surprised. So for my first princess, I decided to draw Rapunzel. When I looked up March, Disney, Princess, Rapunzel came up first, so I was like, why not Rapunzel? I believe Rapunzel is perfect for March because she has a very spring-like spirit. Very happy, joyful, her main colors and everything matches spring quite well, in my opinion. So Rapunzel it is. I wanted to draw Rapunzel, kinda my style, kinda cartoon, and not too anime. Well, it will have a hint of anime in it because I'm the one drawing it. Anyways, I first started off drawing the rough draft using blue lead. I really recommend using blue lead for the rough draft. Here, I'll have the link for the blue lead in the description box below. I just really dislike using normal lead for the rough drafts any kind of rough drafts in general, because even if you erase it really well, there are going to be some kind of residue left, it's going to be like really messy and just like too much of a hassle to completely erase it overall. I mean, mostly for bullet journals, you're not going to be able to like redo the page, you can't just like rip it off and add in another page, so to cherish each page, I really recommend using blue lead instead. After the rough draft, I outlined it using a brown pen. I didn't mind going over with black, but like, I just really wanted to give it a softer feel. It's just really up to you. Here, I'm just coloring in using the pens that I just got. I was at first kinda upset with the color of her skin. It turned out to be a little bit too orange, and she kinda looked like Oompa Loompa. But that was the closest color that I had for her skin. I kinda wish I didn't color in everything, maybe just some parts, but I powered through. I didn't want to use my Copic markers because I knew they'll seep through and ruin all the other pages. Water-based pens won't really seep through, but there's just not that many colors and it's really hard to blend. I then got some washi tape to tape up the edge. I kinda wished I got purple tape instead to match her outfit, but that was all I had. At the end, I think it turned out okay. It's just a bullet journal, not something to like show off or to put up on the wall, so it's okay, I'm happy. Let's move on to the second page. So it's not a bullet journal without the schedule page. This is going to be my personal schedule page where I'm going to note down all my personal schedules. If I have a meeting, I'll write it down here. If I'm meeting up with a friend, I'll put it down here. If I have a date, <laughs> who am I kidding? That's not going to happen. Oh, by the way, just a tip, when you're using a ruler with a pen, don't forget to flip the ruler over. For example, here's a white piece of paper. And if you have the ruler down this way, when you make lines, the ink may go under the ruler and you may drag the ink down. So when you flip the ruler over, it doesn't drag and it stays clean. So I'm actually going to make two schedule pages. One is for my personal stuff and the other will be strictly for my YouTube upload plans. Bullet journals are all up to you, you just need to make pages that you think will help you. And although there are so many examples on the internet, I just think some pages are just like too much. If you don't feel like it, you don't have to pressure yourself to do it. By the way, I decided to start a bullet journal because I wanted to try it out. I know this is like the end of March and I'm just starting at a very random time. It's not the beginning of the year or like it's not even the beginning of a month or anything. I'm just starting at the end of March. I understand that sometimes that some people like to start something new at like certain days, for example at the beginning of the year or the month. I just don't really like doing that. I used to be like that a while ago. Like I would tell myself I'll start something new tomorrow or like next month or no. I noticed that I just never start anything that way. It really doesn't matter when you start. Any day is good to start something new. That's how I kind of started my YouTube channel. There was this bang in my head one day, I knew that I had to make a YouTube channel. And that same day, I came up with a channel and the channel name, like that channel name which is called Mini Cute Club by the way, I came up in like 5 minutes. I knew that if I feel like doing something new, I just had to do it that day and it really didn't matter when you start. 
So I know this is like the randomest time ever, but here's a bullet journal video. Okay, I'm actually going to make the same exact schedule page, and this is where I'm going to write down my YouTube plans. So I do have three channels in total. Well, not really, but I have a Japanese channel called Mini Q Club, an English channel, which is this channel, and the third channel. Some people have asked me why I have three channels, and that third channel is more for like fun. I upload random videos, vlogs, or videos I just feel like isn't high quality enough to upload on my main channels. It's a really random channel so I don't really talk about it too much, but yes, I do have three channels. And I just wanted a page to be able to keep track of all my YouTube videos. And since it's a very important page for me, I decided to draw Pascal on the bottom right corner. I just really love him. So on to the fourth, fourth? Yes, fourth page. I decided to make a tracker where I could track my YouTube videos, fitness, and meditation. The first time making these pages is always really troublesome because you kind of need to calculate and redraw and make it perfect and all. Some people have like 10 different things they track, but I knew that if I make too many things, it'll be a little bit too much for me. Like it'll be too troublesome to redraw the whole thing again every single month. So I decided to start off with the minimum, four things. If I do come up with more later on, I may add it in because there's a lot of space in this page. And I was like in this zone. I wasn't really thinking about anything, so I was like really upset when I noticed I spelled it T-R-A-R. -R. Oh no. I really tried my best to fix the R into a K, but then that's when I realized. Oh my gosh. I spelled it completely wrong. I forgot the C and the track, and you can't really like erase it and rip out the page, so I just decided to cover up with a masking tape. I had this Disney Princess masking tape in hand, so I covered it up and rewrote the title again in black. I had a completely different design in my head, but because of that mistake, I had to change my plans. On the right side, I decided to make a gratitude page. I really like to do meditations, and I like to write down things I'm grateful for. It's a really big part of me. And once Eugene from Try Guys said, if you do it once, it's a mistake, but if you do it twice, it's a choice. So again, I got my masking tape and taped it up for the title to make it look like a choice. Again, not what I was going for, but I think I covered it up quite well. Next up, I decided to make a hamster update page. If you guys don't know, I have two beautiful little hammies. Recently, I got this super small printer and it looks something like this. Look at how small this is. I've never seen a printer this small. So guys, please meet Kyu-chan. Oh, hi Kyu-chan. Do you want to say hi to YouTube? Her mouth is full. Can I take a picture of you? Say cheese. Oh, I don't want a picture of your butt. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, don't go. Oh, you're so hyper today. I don't know why, but she's so hyper today. You know what? I actually couldn't take a good photo of her today, but I did take a nice photo a few days ago, so I think I'm just going to use that photo. Anyways, it's really, really easy. All you have to do is take a picture, connect your phone to the printer, choose the picture, and print. I just love this photo and look at the quality of the photo. Granted, it's not like the highest quality ever. I mean, this is like the smallest printer ever, but still it's like really, really nice. This is actually a sticker. So you can peel it off and stick it on. I also have another hamster. Her name's Si-chan, but she's actually asleep right now. So I'm going to take it later and add it on later. And I'm probably going to add more photos over here. For the last pages, I decided to make a page where I can draw some comic strips. If you guys know me, I love to draw manga, and I think it'll be really cool if I could draw down some things that happened to me in a comic strip form. Kinda like this. And guys, I think we're done.
Okay, so this is the front page. I think Rapunzel's perfect for March. And then the first page. The calendar. So if I'm going to see my friends, I'm going to write it right here. If I'm doing something in general, I'm probably going to write it down here. Onto the next page. And this is where I'm going to write down my upload plans. And then onto the next page. Again, not my favorite page. I'm going to keep track of my two main channels, my fitness and meditation. I just like to write down all the things that I'm grateful for. Next page, my hamsters. It'll be like really great memories. Again, it's specifically for me, but I really needed this page. Hopefully, if I could come up with more ideas, I could go on to fill up the next pages. So guys, this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? Um, some pages I kind of messed up, but I feel like that's kind of bound to happen because you're filling this up with your hand. And it is not the design that I was going for, but looking back, I think it kind of looks cute. So I guess that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please subscribe and comment below. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!